Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back with another episode of the Los Angeles Lakers My Jam Series. Now, before I get into the offseason, I wanted to let you guys know on who won the MVP, KD, Rookie of the Ego, Sajalil Logafor. I'm going to show you guys in this uh, in this quick intro before I get started with the offseason, all the uh, like the first, the first NBA team, whatever it's called, NBA first team, NBA second team, all defensive first team, all defensive second team. I'm going to show you guys all that, and then we're going to get into the face cam part of the offseason, and I'm going to split it up into three parts. The first part is going to be uh, staff signings and like draft lottery. Then we're going to go into the draft in the uh, in the next part of it, and then we're going to also go into free agency. And then we're going to split it up into another episode, which will be the uh, the rookie showcase USA versus the world team, and also summer league, which I think some of you guys might want to see that. So. These are pretty much all the uh, all the teams and how you know all the NBA third team and all that kind of stuff. We had one player that made it. That was Boogie in the All NBA third team. And hopefully next year he'll be able to make it to the All NBA second or the All NBA first team. And we made D'Angelo Russell in the All Rookie first team, which is pretty cool right there. Um, Jalil Okafor, like I showed you guys before, he won Rookie of the Year, which man he killed it in the in his first NBA game. Jalil Okafor dropped like 26, 8 rebounds. I mean, for your first NBA game, that's crazy. Jalil Okafor could be something in this league. And uh, yeah, he definitely killed it. Now, you're going to be surprised on who won the NBA Finals in this My Jam series. It was pretty crazy. As you can see, we've got the Heat, the Bulls, the, the uh, Hawks, the Cavs, the Rockets, Thunder, Mavericks, and Pelicans. The Pelicans made it, and the Houston Rockets made it. Miami and Cleveland made it. And then Cleveland and New Orleans Pelicans made it to the NBA Finals. You, you can probably guess what happens right here. The Cavs easily... Just kidding. The Pelicans made it. I don't know how, but they won the NBA Championship. Anthony Davis must have gone off in this series. And I'm actually going to show you that he did go off in this series. But yeah, I'm going to show you Anthony Davis' stats. And then we're going to get into the offseason, which should be pretty cool. So uh, yeah, these are AD stats. For the uh, for pretty much the rest of the uh, the playoff series, he dropped like 28 points, 28 points, 17 points, 29 points, 33, 31, 33, 29. He went crazy. He dominated the playoff series, and that's why they won the NBA championship. But uh, yeah, let's get on to the off season. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's go. Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Let's get the off-season underway. I'm excited. I haven't seen no I haven't really seen much of the off-season. So yeah, this is uh, the start. This is the uh, the draft. Now Yeah, the draft lottery. Um we are not here because we traded all the uh, all of our picks to get to Marcus Cousins. As you can see, we probably would have had that third pick. We probably would have had that seventh pick. Instead though. We have DeMarcus Cousins. So, pretty much, uh, let's actually speed this up because we're not even here. Yeah, let's speed this up. 14 goes to Timberwolves. 13 goes to the Suns. 12 to the Jazz. I want to see where the Kings go. Because maybe I reckon, with my luck, the Kings are going to get the first overall pick. But the thing is, what I'm actually going to do with the draft is... This draft is going to be auto-generated rookies, but the next draft is going to be with actual plays. Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown, all of these guys that are actually going to be in the draft. Instead of drafting them in 20... They got the 7th uh, overall pick. Instead of drafting them in 2016, we're going to draft them in 2017. And once the 2017 season starts out, it's just going to be like having a 2016 season, if you know what I mean. So... I will draft, or I will have the option to draft some of the guys that are already in the, that are going to be in the league, and the and the Kings also get the fourth overall pick. Um, there's three picks left. The Bucks get the third, but yeah. So after this, when when we have the option to uh, to choose the draft class, I'm going to be choosing the 2016 draft class, and uh, the second picks go to the Raptors, and the first overall pick. Goes to the Utah Jazz, who also, I'm pretty sure they got another pick on the board, right? No, they didn't. Oh, yeah, they did. They got 12. So the Jazz get the 12th and 
the first overall pick. This is kind of cool right here. It's pretty cool. I like this. I'm glad that 2K put some work into my GM this year, which is uh, it's always nice to see, putting some work into my GM. And for those that don't know, or for all the new guys, my guy's name is Willie Stroker, and once I do a My Career series later on down the road, you'll know why. <laughs> Thanks for coming over, Willie. I have a new goal that, that's just come up. All right. I suggest you hire an assistant GM with a recruiter badge to help us with selling this team to free agents. I'll say, yeah, I, I will accomplish that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, when you hire our next head coach, make sure his potential is B or higher. I'll accomplish that as well. All right, cool. So now we have the staff signing. So the first thing, we've got to get an assistant GM, right? Yeah, an assistant GM that has a recruiter badge. Um... How do we find if they have a recruiter badge? I guess you just go to Viewblad, no. I mean, actually, let's go all the way down and see if it happens. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just sign the best guy. We'll sign this guy. Now, I've heard that it's actually hard to sign players in um, the staff in, when, in, you know, the staff signing. So. I guess it might be hard to get him, but um, let's um, let's ask opinion on roster. You've got a really nice roster. I think I think I like it more than Adam Levine likes skinny jeans. <laughs> That's a good one. I like this guy. Um, I'll be honest with you. The position of an assistant GM doesn't excite me. My preference would be the GM. Well, I'm the GM, but I reckon we can work together. So. I'll begin negotiation. And the other, he wants a four-year deal. Okay, I'll give you a four-year deal. And I'll give you the max money that you want. And we'll see what you say to that. And I'm also going to offer a head coach job. Wow, Steve Kerr, Jason Kidd there. Who else do we have? Any other guys that I can recognize? Eric Spolstra, Miami head coach. Lionel Hollins. Uh, any, any old NBA player? Vince Carter. Byron Scott, alright, Sam Cassell, I see you right there, that's pretty cool right there, um, but if we go over here, let's just try and get Steve Kerr or Jason Kidd, we'll sign one of them, hopefully we can sign one of them, um, let's just begin negotiation, I'll give him whatever he wants, for you contract, and I'll give you the amount of money that you'd like, and I'll also do that with Jason Kidd, because if we can get a really good coach on this team, I will definitely take that. So Jason Kidd, you got some A plus offense, A plus deep. This guy, Jason Kidd looks really stacked in this. I don't know why. I mean, he's not really that great of a coach, but in this he is, I guess. Uh, begin negotiation. Four year deal for sure. And the max contract. Well, he wants a lot more than J than uh, Steve Kerr, but whatever. I'll just sign you if I can. And let's get... Let's go after an assistant coach. And I want to go after Vince Carter or Eric Spolstra, actually. How good is Eric's, uh, How good is Vince Carter? B minus offense. D. Ugh. Okay, that's not great, actually. Um, so there's like no other NBA players. Um, I'll sign. Let's get Eric Spolstra as an assistant coach. I mean, that would be kind of cool, getting him as an assistant coach. Um, begin negotiation, four year, they all want four year deals, as well. uh, 130, yeah, that's, that's quite cheap for Eric Spolstra, I'll get you on the Lakers as an assistant coach, um, head scout, we'll go after this guy, no, he wants to be an assistant GM, but I'll go after this guy right here, Don Carter, we'll try and get Don Carter right here. Uh, begin negotiation for you. Everyone wants a four-year deal. Um, I'll give him max money. I'm also going to go after some more guys. I can see those old. Wait, I'll show you guys in a sec. But let's just sign. This guy seems all right. I'll just get him. Oh, this is the guy that I said was an assistant GM. But anyway, let's go. Um, let me show you something. If it comes up before, begin negotiation. Four-year deal, obviously. And max money right here. And it didn't come up, damn. Before it came up, before it was like the old 2K13 um, NBA 2K thing. Like the images. I'll, I'll show you guys if it comes up again. And this trainer down here, 
He has an A potential, but B training. That's not even that bad. I reckon he will sign with us because he's not as good as all the other guys. So I'll begin negotiation. Plus, he has like, he wants a two year deal. I'll give him a three year deal. And I'll give him max money that he wants. Alright, so that's good. Now let's just skip advance right here and sit. Wow, 17 offers up the top. That's. I don't think a lot of the guys that we're going after we're going to be able to get. And it's saving right now. They're all, they all seem to be tentative or mulling it over. These guys only have one offer, which is, I guess, us. And then these guys, wow, 10, 12, 13. A lot of offers. Um, I guess we'll advance and see what happens. We get rejected by Jason Kidd, Spolsterer, Steve Kerr, Assistant GM. We don't get accepted by any of these guys right here. Damn. So I guess we're going to have to go after head, head coach again. Elijah Nelson seems pretty good. A offense, B minus defense, B minus potential. I'll go after Elijah Nelson. I knew it's going to be hard to get to get coaches and stuff like that. I knew from watching other my GM series, like agents and stuff, that he had to try for ages to get an assistant coach or something like that, or a coach. And he has really good stats. A plus potential. I will go after Steve Nash. Yeah, but, and he's a former Laker player as well. Two-year contract. Max money for you, Steve Nash. What do you say about joining the Los Angeles Lakers? I mean, you never really got to play with us for many, for, you know... I mean, he never really played for the Lakers for that long. He was always injured. So, Nash, you want a coach? Well, assistant... Did we... Uh, did we offer an... We offered him an assistant GM position. That's weird as. Okay, but... If he wants to be... Oh, damn, Nash, Nash rejected it. Are we, at least we got Morgan, A potential. So now we have an assistant coach. Sign him. Uh, I can't do anything more than that. All right. What? That was it? That was it? I... Okay, I guess that sucks, man. Well, I guess that is the staff signing done. I don't really want to end the episode here, but it's gone for a while. Damn. Okay, let's just go into the draft combine right now. Let's have a look at who we'd want. In fact, you know what? I don't need to look at this. I can just advance because I already kind of know. I don't really have a pick. I can just look at the pre-draft works out. Work. Ugh. I can look at the pre-draft workout and see who's good from here. Alexi Warner. Al Bryan, Martin Blackwell, all these guys are kind of good, so I can just sort by, sort by, I'll just actually go by this. And if one of these guys we end up getting, um, I'm going to I'm gonna look at all these guys towards trade, towards, yeah, the draft night actually, so. Because as of now, I don't even have any picks. We, we are failing so many goals right now, it's crazy. The thing is, it should cancel out. It should cancel out that we don't have our draft picks, because we traded for DeMarcus Cousins, who ultimately could be better than the two draft picks. Anyway, um, I guess I'll end the episode here, and if you guys want to see the next episode, which will be the NBA draft, and what I'm going to do is, as soon as we reach the like goal rating of, let's just say, 600 likes, then, no, let, let's make it 500, 500 likes, and I'll upload the NBA draft immediately, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, 500 likes, and we can get the next episode out of the NBA draft. It's been Ronnie Smith. Offseason is crazy. I'm, I'm excited to get into the offseason, but I'm out. Peace. Almost dropped my controller. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Peace.